when we think about the, the size of things, we tend to think of the size of things with reference to ourselves. So, you know, the foot or the meter, or those things, or the inch or the centimeter, what are those things? Ultimately, historically, they're based on properties of the human body. So they're based on biology. And that's what we did historically, because why would you do anything else? Is that fundamental? Well, the answer is no, it doesn't tell you anything profound or, or deep about the, the deep structure of the universe. But of course, the history of physics tells us, as we go into the 17th century, the 18th century, the 19th century, 20th century, we, we then begin to understand that there are things that are much bigger than us and much smaller than us. We're looking, I suppose, for, for units of measurement that we could, you could imagine if we met some aliens from some different civilization. They might not even have arms, right, or feet, <laughs> but they, they might be very different in size and scale from us. So what, what would the common language be? Is there some unit of measurement that we could all agree on? 